Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain how to fit a straight line. Fitting means finding the equation of a straight line for the given data which has x and y values by using the method of least squares. Okay, this is very very important method. See. So, first of all, we have to take the standard form of a straight line. Okay. Already we know that what is the standard form of a straight line. Y is equal to mx plus c is called slope form of a line. But I will take y is equal to a plus bx instead of y is equal to mx plus c. Let y is equal to a plus bx. Take it equation number 1. Is the equation of required straight line. Okay, you can also take y is equal to ax plus b as you wish. So, to get the equation of this one, it is enough to find out the unknown values which are involved in this equation. One is a and b. So, what is our aim? It is enough to find the values of small a and a small b okay so what is the method of least squares method of least squares is nothing but we can find out this both unknowns by writing the normals of this straight line okay so by the method of least squares by the method of least squares the normals of the straight line 1 or we have to take two normals because we have to find out two unknowns so the first normal is sigma y and the second normal is sigma xy so now I will show you how to write these normals see already we know that the standard form of the line is y is equal to a plus bx. So, first take sigma on both sides. Sigma is nothing but summation. So, you will get sigma a plus sigma bx. So, a is the constant term. So, you will write a into sigma 1 plus here also b is constant. So, write outside of the summation b into sigma x. But entire in this chapter sigma 1. What is sigma 1? Is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus so on up to n times up to n times what is n number of given data points in this problem there are five points are given to you so n is equal to 5 here so what is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus so on and up to n times n into 1 so it would be n so sigma 1 is replaced by n a plus b into sigma x in this way we can obtain the first normal so summation of y is equal to n a otherwise you can write as a n as you wish plus b into summation of x okay now multiply this straight line with x so you will get x y is equal to a x plus b x square already x is there so if you multiply with x you will get b x into x b x square okay now you can apply summation on both sides so summation a x plus summation b x square so a is the constant term right outside from the sigma a into sigma x plus similarly b is also constant so i will write as b into sigma x square in this way we can find out the normals don't forget this procedure okay another normal is a into sigma x plus b into sigma x square you can take equation number two and e this is equation number three and what about any here here n is equal to number of given data points number of given data points in this problem five points are given to you one two three four five that's why i will take this is five now we have to find out summations from the given data i will use a tabular form to get these all values now we can find all summations as below 
see here i will use a table on form first row for sorry first column is x values please write x values in the first column next y values in the second column next we have to find out summation of x y that's why multiply x and y values we have to find out summation of x square also so squaring the x series so x values are 0 1 2 3 4 Okay, y values are 1, 1.8, 1.3, 2.5 and 6.3. 0 times of 1 is 0. 1 into 1.8, 1 1.8. 1 2 times of 1 1.3, 2.6. 3 times of 2.5 is 7.5. And 4 times of 6.3 is 25.2. And squaring x values, 0 square, 0, 1, 2 square, 4, 3 square, 9, 4 square, 16. So now you have to add all columns. So these are all x values. By adding these all values, you will get summation of x values. So 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. And uh, what is summation of y? I will use a calculator here. See. So because uh, decimals are involved, so it is better to use scientific calculator. So 1 plus 1.8 plus 1.3 plus 2.5 plus 6.3 so you got 12.9 now sum of x y so 0 plus 1.8 so i will add 1.8 plus 2.6 plus 7.5 plus 25.2 so i got 37.1 now 1 plus 9 10 10 10 plus 4 6 14 14 plus 16 30 okay now replace this all values in 23 okay substitute above all values in 2 and 3 so you will get what is sum of 5 Sum of i is this one. First equation is 12.9 is equal to n a. What is n? 5. 5 into a plus b into summation of x which is 10. So it is now uh, it is better to write b 10 times of b. Don't write b into 10. Okay. 10 times of b and sigma x y it is 37.1 is equal to a into sigma x. So it is 10 a plus b into sigma x square. It would be 30b so take it equation number 4 and 5 again i will solve above equations using scientific calculator so you will get the two unknowns these are the two unknowns in a and b sorry these are two equations in the two unknowns a and b so you will get a value and b value now see for getting a and b values so operate mode number 5 is the equation mode so in the first point, there are two unknowns, a n and b n. So, take it equation number 1. So, in the first equation, what is the a? It means that you have to take coefficient of a, which is 5, is equal to 10. b is nothing but coefficient of b. Is equal to right hand side constant, 12.9. Is equal to, next one, 10. Is equal to, for every entry, you should operate 10. Sorry, you should operate equal symbol. Next one is 30. Next one is constant 37.1. So I got first value is 0 0.32. Next 1.13. So this is the procedure to find the values of A and B. Finally, you should replace A B values in 1. So 1 is equal to Y is equal to 1 implies y is equal to what is a 0 0.32 times of 0 0.32 plus b 1.13 times of x is the required straight line this is the required straight line for given data of best fit okay whenever we are using the method of least squares Surely you will get the best equation of this straight line.
okay no doubt at all that's why this method of least squares is very important in the next video i will give some more problems on this curve feeding thank you very much